Upon our first visit to the chateau, this is the view we were greeted with. The once beautiful formal gardens covered with weeds, self-seeded trees and brambles. Some of the most beautiful features like the staircase and the chateau itself were barely visible because of this. Over the last two years, we've worked hard at claiming this beautiful garden back in the hope that one day we can restore it to its beautiful former glory. The self-seeded trees were damaging the walls and the areas around the garden and had to be removed. In total, we've removed around 45 to 50 trees from this garden. Every one self-seeded and none of them were meant to be there. The herbs, the weeds, the brambles, it grew up over time and just grew and grew and grew. We didn't even know we had the garden behind. After all this work, we're now at a point where we can start to discover the beautiful views in the garden itself. So we've come a million miles from where the, the garden was when we first arrived here. Mm -hmm. It's tremendous. Yeah, we, we're, we're starting to get back to a blank canvas now and you can start to see what it's, you can feel what how good it's going to be, can't you? Oh yeah, and the size of it. Just looking out onto the views and, and to be able to stand at the back of the garden and look up and see mm -hmm. the chateau as well, it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. When you go for a walk as well now, yeah. you can see it, you can see the whole of the chateau now. Yeah, we walk um, along the Foire there, mm -hmm. we try and do that at least once a week. Yeah. And looking back and just viewing it, it's, it's beautiful. it stands atop. Yeah. everything yeah. and it, it's just amazing mm -hmm. so you'll have seen from the last episode we've got all the massive trees out all the self-seeded ones yeah it's now time to do the fun ones <laughs> i'm worried about the wall <laughs> so we've got a load of old trees that i'd basically i'd put copper nails in the roots yeah well, and was it last year you did it yeah, yeah. last year yeah. and it worked mm -hmm. it did work it's killed them off it stopped them growing back but yeah. we still need to get them out from where they are yeah mm -hmm. um because it, it's lifted all the cap and stones it's pushing into the wall yeah i mean and they're ugly anyway they need to come out yeah it's just stumps now yeah yeah so that's going to be a good job uh, just looking at them there's about <laughs> i'd say about 15 yeah. 16. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and we're not doing it by hand tracy <laughs> <laughs> we'll <not>. try <laughs> we might get one out no. but yeah the, once they're out it's going to be tremendous the, the space is unreal here i cannot yeah. wait to have some summer parties no no it's going to be amazing yeah Come on then. <laughs>
as you've seen, the trees were an absolute nightmare to get out. These are a completely different animal. The root balls on them, the size of them, are bigger than some of the massive trees that we took down in the garden. I am shocked. This is the hole here for one of the trees alone. Now it just looked like something little perched on the wall, but we've had to dig all of this right out just to get it out. Not only that, the damage it's caused to the wall behind us, it's took the top off, it's gone into the first couple of layers of bricks. Good thing is, because we've got it out, because we've managed to dig them out, we've stopped it getting any worse, and the remedial repairs that we can do now, it's only a couple of layers of bricks and put the top caps back on again. So it's a good job done. We've got 12 or 14 of them to get out. So we're in the process of doing that now. And yeah, we'll have a, a nice garden again soon. So this is the root ball out of the hole that we've just been in. Now, again, this might not look massive, but look at the damage. It's actually grew around the stones. You can actually see the stone here where it actually grew into the wall. So again, why it's absolutely imperative. We've had to get these out now, because otherwise we'd have lost more walls around here. So absolutely brilliant job. Great day's work. And it's so satisfying to know that we, we're making sure that this garden is here for a long, long time.
So the end's in sight. We're finally getting there. We've got, I think, 12 out of 14 of the massive ones gone. Now, hopefully you've seen today why it's so important for us to have got rid of these. The size of the roots that were underneath these things was forcing the wall apart. There's even ones that have actually grew through the tiny little cracks. The root was only that thick because it's grew in the crack, but it, it's literally welded the two pieces of stone to the actual piece of wood, uh, to the actual um, trunk itself. So yeah, it's been a good day, tiring, finally getting there. Sun's going down as you can see, absolutely glorious night. I'm going to go and finish off and go and get some tea because I'm starving. So we've got our blank canvas. You're seeing something that hasn't been seen now for going on 40 years. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing to, yeah. to get all of the trees out, which at first we were a bit unsure yeah. mm -hmm. to take them out, but getting them out, it's been the best decision that we've done. Yeah, it's just opened everything up and it, it's made this feel like a special space. We've done nothing with it, no, but it already it's feels special. It's massive. Yeah. It really is. The ones through the wall, <laughs> they were an absolute nightmare. Mm -hmm. I think some of them we got, we actually got out by hand. Yeah. One. <laughs> One of them you pulled out. <laughs> the brute force. Yeah. yeah. But the wall is fine, isn't it? The wall yeah. is absolutely fine. It's still standing. Yeah. We've yeah. got a little bit of rebuilding on the top and put the cap and stones back on. Mm -hmm. But overall, it's in a good place. Yeah. yeah. It is. It's brilliant, and it's just good to get them out. Yeah. So it's it's a win-win with it all. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's just and we've got guests coming. We have. And we've got the blank canvas ready for them now so that yeah. they can design away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do so the magic. Hopefully we can get a beautiful formal garden. We've got a, a, an award winning landscape gardener coming over. Absolutely. Yeah. To mm. um, come up with a, a plan for us. Yeah, and just then... some ideas, isn't he? I mean, we're, we're looking for like a lot of lavender. We want it a lot sort of English. Yeah. Style, well, you know, we know again. Very formal. Some of the some of the plants that we found in here that were still here underneath all the weeds were English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the English primrose and everything. Mm -hmm. So they have had English plants and, and things in here before. Yeah. So yeah. I think to to replicate yeah. that, but this puts our stamp on it. Yeah. This mm -hmm. makes it our garden. Definitely. It'll be formal and it'll belong to the chateau, but it'll be yeah. ours. Yeah. So. yeah. It's all exciting. It, it is. Certainly it's good. Is. Good. And another thing, a lot of viewers have been asking how Tony is and where Tony is in the videos. He's absolutely fine. There's nothing to worry about. He's just dealing with a couple of family things at the moment. Um, so that's why he's not been in the videos or anything like that. So please don't worry. Um, there's nothing at all. No, we'll keep about. you updated on anything that goes on, anything in the future, um, what happens. And if um, anything changes, we'll, we'll let keep you, know. you updated. Absolutely. Yeah. But he's fine. He's, his health's absolutely fine. Everything, but he's just sorting some stuff out. Yeah. But 
In the meantime, you've got you've us. You've got us three. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and Jonathan occasionally when he's not at school. Yeah. <laughs> and Paula will be back as well. Yeah, she's next back month. Next And my month. dad's back next yeah, month as well. We're going to start on the wall then, aren't we? Because yep. we'll all be together. Yeah. We've got good weather coming. Yep. We've got workforce coming. So the wall's going to come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The wall The wall finally is going to get started. Yeah. Um, and it's also, the right time of year this time. Yeah. Yep. Not in the 45 degree yeah. heat of sweltering summer. No. And then we can get the plaque made so for everyone that contributed to help rebuild the wall, yeah. we'll yeah. be able to get a nice yeah. plaque with all your We haven't on. forgot, we, we still 100% appreciate everything you've done. It's just we, we haven't had the time to do it or the weather to do it. It's just not being the right time yeah. of year to but do it. it. It's definitely next month it's getting started. Yeah. And we will see you in the next show. We if you've will. enjoyed. Remember to click the like button, big mm -hmm. thumbs up. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you're not already. And make sure you've got the bell click for notifications as well. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. See you soon. Bye. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon. Where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history, Get exclusive videos.